All right. Now, when Chance Carter committed to Northwestern, he didn't have to go far from home. The sophomore has lived in Evanston all his life, and staying in the community was important to him. Now Carter is leading his teammates in an effort to give back to an Evanston organization that helped get him where he is today. Rob Coons has the story. Growing up in Evanston, um, it's it's just it's really sad to see some of the, the kids that you know the athletes that we have here. Um, a lot of guys get to the high school and usually don't really perform well in, in school and can't play athletics. So what I wanted to show is just to see that um, a kid from Evanston can make it, can can do well. Not that long ago, Chance Carter knew that feeling all too well. Then in junior high, he joined the Junior Wildcats football league, which opened his eyes to the importance of more than just the sport. It really taught me the, the really the the important of academics. We're a community organization that basically uses football as a tool to help develop the young men and young ladies in our community to try to make them better people. We have three core values, which are academics, character, and teamwork. Playing with the Junior Wildcats for four years helped Carter earn the chance to play high school football at Loyola Academy. That led him to Northwestern. And this year, back to Evanston's Foster Park and the Junior Wildcats. I usually come every Tuesday and just uh, just helping them, giving little pointers here and there. So I play D tackle and I, I see these guys, I see these blocks all the time. So if you're not looking at me, you can't can't touch me. So I'm gone. And we had them come out and talk to our kids, and you can see our kids are riveted. I mean, mouths closed, eyes open. They just want to know, okay, how can I play on TV? How can I be in a Division One program? And seeing that, hey, you got to balance the academic part with the football. That the kids love that stuff. It's just really cool to have guys that are playing like D1 football because that's obviously all of our goals is to play college football. They've done it before, so you know that they know what it takes to get to that level. Carter and other Northwestern student athletes work with the Junior Wildcats each week as part of a growing partnership between the teams. That was a good group. That was a good group there. Yeah, that was a good group. A lot of those kids, they really look up to him and say, hey, look, you've, he was right where you were five years ago. When we go to the games, you know, you sit in the stands at the Northwestern game we took all our kids to, hey, 99, he was right where you are right now. You can, you know, strive to be there. Being from here, uh, going to this program, knowing really most of the coaches are still here, I just wanted to be a role model for the kids here and just see that they can strive for something in the future. Football is all about moving your feet, keeping keep yourself alive, so just when you hit it, just keep, keep your feet moving at all times. It's not like you had any special treatment or anything. He's just in the same exact program. So it gives us hope that we can someday maybe play up there in Division I football. The Junior Wildcats currently have 20 former players who have gone on to play football in college. Carter is cheering for each of them and for that next player who will make the jump from the youth league to the big time. I would like to do anything and everything for Evans, the city of Evanston. This is where I grew up. It's where I've been for my 21 years uh, living. So, I mean, you know, it would just really mean a lot to me, and I know a lot to the community um, to see another guy uh, make it. Reporting for the Pat Fitzgerald Show, I'm Rob Coons. Looks like a, a young man with a very mature outlook on giving back to his community, and you have to be proud of guys like that on your team. Well, we've got a team full of young men like Chance, but it's so special for Chance being here at home and the opportunity to be in his community uh, and, and give back is just so special. We're incredibly proud of him. He's doing a terrific job on the field, but that pales in comparison to what he's doing in the classroom and, and then giving back to those that have helped him get here to this level. Terrific family and uh, just really, really proud of him. Great stuff.